On a calm September morning in 1977, NASA launched Voyager 1, what would become one of humanity's greatest technological achievements. It wasn't just another spacecraft, it was a leap into the unknown, a symbol of our desire to explore the cosmos. Packed with scientific instruments and dreams, Voyager 1 carried the hopes of an entire civilization. Originally, Voyager 1's mission was modest, study Jupiter and Saturn. Launched alongside its twin, Voyager 2, the spacecraft was built with 1970s technology, hand-soldered circuits, analog systems, and just 69 kilobytes of memory. Engineers expected it to last five years. Nearly five decades later, it's still transmitting, still exploring. In March 1979, Voyager 1 reached Jupiter. The images it returned, especially of the massive great red spot, stunned scientists. But the real surprise came from Io, one of Jupiter's moons, where Voyager captured the first evidence of volcanic activity beyond Earth. In November 1980, it reached Saturn and revealed the true complexity of its rings. Once thought simple, the rings turned out to be shaped by tiny shepherd moons and rich in structure. With these discoveries, textbooks were rewritten. After its planetary tour, Voyager 1 didn't stop. It sailed past Uranus, Neptune, and Pluto, venturing into interstellar space. In 2012, it crossed the Helioports, the boundary where the Sun's influence ends and the galaxy begins. Voyager became the first human-made object to leave the solar system. What it found there was unexpected, plasma waves, magnetic vibrations, and faint, rhythmic pulses, signals unlike anything previously recorded. Some scientists speculated about dark matter or unknown physics. The SETI Institute noted the signals were new and unexplained. While they didn't claim alien origins, they acknowledged the mystery. Carl Sagan, one of Voyager's architects, once said, absence of evidence is not evidence of absence. Could there be something, or someone, out there? Voyager endures harsh conditions, cosmic radiation, freezing temperatures, and vast emptiness. Its power source, radioisotope thermoelectric generators, convert heat from decaying plutonium into electricity. Though weakening, they still keep Voyager alive. Inside Voyager is the Golden Record, a time capsule of humanity. It contains greetings in 55 languages, music, natural sounds, and emotions, birdsong, laughter, Beethoven, Blind Willie Johnson. This disc carries our essence, floating through the stars. Even after decades, Voyager keeps surprising us. In 2021, it detected a steady plasma hum in interstellar space. Unlike earlier, short bursts, this tone was continuous. Cornell astrophysicist Stella Ora likened it to a faint tone in a noisy room. It proved space isn't silent, it's alive with energy and subtle interactions. Now more than 14.8 billion miles from Earth, Voyager 1 is the farthest human-made object in existence. A signal takes over 22 hours to reach it. Out there, the sun is just a dim point of light. Even more remarkable, the hum Voyager recorded isn't sound in the traditional sense. In space, where there's no air, plasma vibrations replace sound waves. When these are converted to audio, they form strange rising tones. Dr. Don Gurnett, who led the plasma wave team, said, This hum shows us the interstellar medium is not quiet, it's alive. Voyager 2, its twin, is also deep in space, almost 20 billion kilometers from Earth. It, too, sends data about cosmic rays, plasma, and magnetic waves. Some findings are predictable, others defy explanation. Scientists believe the voyages may be passing through regions shaped by forces we don't yet understand, maybe rogue planets, unknown magnetic fields, or even new physics. Astronomer David Bennett estimates there may be billions of rogue planets in our galaxy, worlds without stars. If they have moons like Jupiter's Europa, they could harbor subsurface oceans and life. Some signals Voyager records suggest complex magnetic shifts and plasma changes, possibly influenced by such hidden worlds. When Voyager 1 crossed into interstellar space, silence was expected. Instead, it heard a hum, evidence that deep space isn't still. Some scientists, like Dr. Jill Tarta, believe intelligent civilizations could use plasma waves to communicate. The hum might carry patterns or signals beyond our understanding. 
While Voyager wasn't designed to decode alien messages, it may be detecting something intelligent or mysterious. The idea that interstellar space could serve as a communication medium isn't pure science fiction anymore. Plasma waves can travel long distances. If extraterrestrial intelligence exists, perhaps they ride these cosmic vibrations, sending signals through the galaxy. And let's not forget the golden record, still aboard, still playing its silent song through space. It carries our greetings, our music, our laughter, waiting for someone, or something, to find it. Voyager now travels through the local interstellar cloud, a region rich with dust, plasma, and unknown forces. It's detected turbulence, pressure shifts, and even gaps in the cloud that puzzle scientists. Nobel physicist Kip Thorne once remarked, the fabric of space is not smooth, it's turbulent and dynamic. Voyager's data supports that. Interestingly, Voyager 1 and 2 often report different findings, despite their proximity. It's as if they're in separate zones, cosmic rooms shifting and moving, invisible but powerful. Some theorize these could be shaped by magnetic fields, gravitational waves, or even dark energy. Every bit of data from Voyager reshapes our understanding. Cosmic rays, high-energy particles, slam into Voyager with unexplained intensity. Some come from supernovae, others have unknown origins. These particles are clues to events and phenomena beyond our current reach.